Grand final night is here. It's Breeders' Crown final night. First race in the program isn't a Breeders' Crown decider, but it's a pretty good race. It's a rating 70 to 89 affair, and it's a really tricky sort of a race. Speed map, Casbard Kid gets across the pole marker, and then the battle's on between Maestro Bellini and the very quick beginner, High Rolling, for who will occupy the top end position. I think that Maestro Bellini will get there, Casbard Kid behind the leader, but I think they will have burned some petrol in the early stages. And then when the pressure starts to come out of the race, that's when I reckon Rock and Roll Eyes will go around it, despite that awkward draw and occupy the breeze and put the tempo back into it. I think they'll run time. My numbers, four, eight, two, and three, the beneficiary of what should be a relatively hot speed for mine is TCB McRae or Mason at home. He was once going to be a superstar. Unfortunately, a few breathing issues that probably precluded that, but this is the right kind of race for him. I think he's the benchmark, but the best value in this race and the best roughie of the night is number eight, Rock and Roll Eyes, who's competed so well at this sort of a level. He's so strong. He's stronger than his rivals here. And if he can turn this race into a slugging contest, he might be able to get the better of them. I've thrown in for third, Casbah Kid. He gets the perfect trip, but I just worry that he's not the most genuine character going around. And number three, Maestro Bellini, who can be a little bit lazy in front, but if he gets there and dictates terms and Rock and Roll Eyes doesn't put the pressure on, he can win as well. Numbers in the first event on the program on Super Saturday at Tebcor Park, Melton, 4, 8, 2 and 3.